Hi, my name is Katie Robin and I'm a student here at Montgomery College. I'd like to talk to you today about a few things that we can change that will have a big ecological impact at our school. These are the proposed changes that I feel would be the most feasible and beneficial to enact. Hand dryers in the bathrooms, electronic soap dispensers, filtered water fountains, and eventually dual flush toilets. Hand dryers is my number one. We've all been in the bathroom. You go to pull a paper towel, and if it's full, you get a whole handful, and then you either end up setting them on the counter or throwing them in the trash, essentially creating waste either way. Hand dryers make this problem obsolete. Not only are they cost effective, but they're ecologically sound. Here are a couple of comparisons that look at paper towel use versus two of my favorite hand dryers, the Dyson Airblade and the American Dryer. Looking strictly at the numbers, you can see that 100 uses a day, the Dyson Airblade costs $18 a year, while paper towels end up costing $730 a year. And that's assuming that only one paper towel at a time is being used. But most of us use more than one paper towel, which increases cost and waste. Hand dryers can range from four to $400, which sounds like a lot of money initially. However, if you look at the American Dryer cost analysis, it would only take three months to pay back. This isn't even looking at the labor it saves from not only having to empty the trash cans, but also reduces waste in our campus dumpsters. The other benefit of hand dryers is the reduction of germs. Right now, if you walk into the bathroom and the paper towels have run out, you either end up not washing your hands or wiping your hands on your pants. These hand dryers ensure that there's always a way to dry your hands, and many of the newer models come equipped with HEPA filters that ensure that clean air is being blown onto your hands, which also reduces germs. Electronic soap dispensers. Tying into recycling and replacing our manual soap dispensers with electronic ones, this saves money by being able to control the amount of soap that's being dispensed. But more importantly, the health benefit is infinite by reducing the spread of germs. Less people touching the same soap lever over and over again means that during flu season, it's less likely for students, staff, and faculty to miss vital school and work due to illness. Really, all of these proposed changes are favorites of mine, but this is one topic that I care very passionately about. I'm never without my reusable water bottle and one of the best things you can do for a healthy body. Giving our students access to clean tasting filtered water is going to encourage them to bring reusable bottles to school. This means that they will not be putting money into a vending machine to buy plastic bottles, that they will use once and hopefully recycle. It's also going to reduce the amount of overall plastic waste that our campus produces. Let's follow the trend started in San Francisco's and eliminate the use of plastic bottles. I've labeled this next proposal as a future goal, knowing that it would take not only a larger financial in investment, but would also have a greater impact on our school as the bathrooms would need to be closed for remodeling. A dual flush toilet system allows the, the user to choose a number one or a number two, and then move the handle accordingly, which controls the amount of water use per flush. This has a great impact on the reduction of the use of potable water. The universities at Shady Grove have implemented these toilets in their ecological test sites, and this is something that we could foreseeably do here. Even on a small scale, this project could be incorporated into an environmental curriculum to teach students about ways to conserve water use. I feel as though hand dryers, electronic soap dispensers, equipping our current fountains with filters, and eventually installing dual flush toilets are the most cost-effective changes we can implement at this time. These first three especially can be done with minimal disruption to campus life, including being completed during off hours. All of the changes that I've proposed today are gonna to give us our biggest ecological bang for our buck here at Montgomery College. Thank you for taking the time to listen and for your consideration.